Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Hi, welcome to the Swing Trading Show. It's 12.45. The U.S. market is down not far from 200 points on the Dow. But when you look at the chart, it's still a big neutral formation. Same on the SPY. NASDAQ was a little bit stronger this morning, but now it's, probably, it's approximately at the same level. TSX is the weakest index today at its bottom, uh, down 8 10 of a percent. The Dow is down three quarter of a percent, and the resource USO is very very weak. I think that we will be, we are very not far from breaking the neutral formation and the daily chart. HOD to play the U uh, the all or SCO on New York. I honestly like HOD, so I think you should trade HOD. Both are two time the variation of USO. Gold also weak today, so USO is down two dollar two point seven percent at seventy two eighteen. Gold is down ten dollar at twelve forty six, so under twelve fifty. Gas try to continue to rebound. Silver is also very weak, and the sector energy at the low of the day, material mining, gold all very weak. Finance industry negative. Healthcare, it's a rebound of Prometic. We don't have any news on Prometic for the moment. We are still looking at. So I will start with the healthcare and Prometic. So Prometic, I had a couple of questions since the beginning of the week. I said the best case scenario will be a neutral formation right there and a breakout. We never had a neutral formation, and today we had a very strong move, but right now it's deflating. So if you bought the stock at 77 or 82, I really think, and what I said in the French show, it's take a profit and you can keep it, but if you go back to the price you paid, you close the position. It's not time to open the position right now in swing trading. If you had open at a better entry point, perfect. If you had open a position a couple of days ago, take a profit. If you took one, take a second today and after keep the position. Now we want a new neutral formation somewhere and a new breakout to have the opportunity to buy it and swing trading for real. That was a big movement, volume is very strong, I just don't have any news, and it's since the beginning of the, uh, of the deal. So this is it for LKR. For the market, it's only a correction, so we 
it's important to don't overreact to the move. We all know that the market is down today because yesterday after the bell around 5 to 5 p.m. Trump announced that they will impose a new series of 200 billions of uh, on uh, on uh, product and uh, ex by product from Chinese. Look, it's a 10% tariff on 200 billion. So this 10% is a uh, what we need to know is this 10% is 200 billion. It's over the 50 billion that they have already announced. On the 50 billion, there are 34 that have been implemented since uh, last Friday, July 6th. And I think that the next 16 will be implemented uh, on Monday, July 16. Or if it's not July 16, it's next week. So the 200 are over that 50. So it's 250 billion. And what we need to know is that Chinese only. Uh, import from the US 130 billion so they could not go dollar for dollar with the uh, uh, tariff because they don't import enough to do that so they would probably use qualitative uh, way to uh, to put uh, to try to uh, to disadvantage some of the US companies so they could uh, not uh, renew some permit they could just take more time before accepting a permit or example for Boeing we all we always talk about Boeing when we talk about the trade war with Chinese because most of the uh, order from a Boeing in the future are from Chinese so Chinese just should just decide to cancel those order and go with Airbus that will be the best way to hurt uh, the US Boeing and uh, and it it's will be the way to do it. So for the moment, we are still in the neutral formation. So if Friday or next Monday we have a breakout, it will be, still be interesting. If we had a breakdown and we close under 175, I think we could go to 172 approximately. On the Dow, a little bit harder to know where we will go because it's not clear that we had a neutral formation. On the SPY, I think that if we stay higher than the low of, yet, of uh, Monday, we still have the neutral formation. If we broke that, I think that we could go to 271. If we break to uh, 81, it will be a nice breakout. Um, TS6, only a correction, nothing else to say. Venture, big breakdown. Couple of uh, marijuana stock are breaking down and other stock. TX60, correction, correction. Though this is where we have to monitor. So around 1460, 1465 will start to clearly be lower than the support but it's very weak since the old inventory we had a push on the uh, on the upside but after we uh, go uh, down and the gas is rebounding and the gold is breaking down there's a couple of uh, stock in the gold that you need to close right now us dollar is very strong and Canadian dollar yes so bank of canada announced an increase of the bank rates at 1.5 percent we had a small spike on it but since then, with the U.S. dollar very strong, we're going back. And uh, if the trade war continue, or if the trade war attack Canada to industry, Canadian dollar will go down and will probably collapse. So I want to show you a couple of sectors. I will just answer this question before. Buy HOD at 4.33. Yeah, so uh, next level to take on profit. Honestly, it's tough to see the next points where the US where US so monitor USO first and I will say uh, 1425 on USO so the the last support could be the best thing to uh, where to take the profit and if we broke around 1456 or we could close around those level I think that you could easily go to 1425 and if we go to 14.25, it's another 40 cents, another 3 percent, so it's another 6 percent on HOD. So you will be making money. But if today you go to, so it's approximately low 4.75, uh, something like that, uh, the on HOD, the, the level that we're talking about. So uh, right now, I think you are in a very good situation to uh, to profit on your trade. So we go to the uh, pause and we will finish after that. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. 
Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Hi, I have another question on the all. So uh, Claudel asked me if I think there will be a rebound of the all tomorrow. Honestly, I cannot predict if there will be a rebound or not. But one thing I think, if we broke around 1460, 1455 and we go lower than the support, I think chance of a rebound will be lower. If we hold this support, so 1465, 1470, I think chance will be higher of a rebound. But we could not predict. and. You should not buy HOU at the end of the day thinking that they will have a rebound on the old. I think that will be a very risky trade. And other question, I Max, which stock do the inverse of gold, not HED, really pure gold? Okay, for pure gold, it will be on, in, in the US, and I think it's UGLD on the downside, so I will see DGLD. DGLD, man, look, 30,000 traded stock. It's very not a lot. Uh, but it's DGLD, so the answer it's on NASDAQ, DGLD, there are no stock on the TSX on it. So I want just to show you a couple of sectors. In Argina, I really think that you should be uh, patient with the position that you, if you had open position in the, ne in the last couple of days. Example, uh, Birch Cliff, I really think that you should wait until 4.55 until closing the stock. For uh, Suncor, I think it will be $53. For precision drilling, honestly, if you bought at the right timing, you probably took a profit yesterday, you will close at the price you paid. On uh, on Crescent Points, I think you close around 970. Um, and and um, it's the same thing for most of the stock. And the gold stock, I really don't think that we should have position in the gold right now. Uh, gold, uh, I'm pretty sure that we're going back to the support. So most of the big stock, like example, if you bought Barrett Gold, on July turn, you close right now the position. If you have open King Roth July 6, you close the position right now. So if you had a position that is breaking down or is a weak example, a Cisco Gold. If you buy OR here, you close today. If you bought a Cisco mining this morning because it was a nice breakout on a new feasibility study, I think you should keep it. But if it's continued to go lower. Tomorrow, I think you should close before it's uh, before you lose too too much. Gold Corp very weak. I have the impression that we're going to a 17, 20, something like that. And Nico Eagle, if you had open a position right there, I would probably close today. The position to not lose too much. So gold is weak. Silver is less to weak. Example: We have WPM in our analysis pick. We are not far from closing the position, but we will wait. But at 28.75, we will close the position. There are honestly, the, the chance that we go there today are, are, are important, I will say. But I prefer to lose 15 cents more and wait to the trend than closing uh, right now. But I could have closed at 29.10. We analyze the stock and we decide, do we close at 29.10? When was working the small supports, or we wait for the trend, and the trade is is very near the point where we were. So we we wait for the trend. Example: a stock like Fortuna Silver, we should close right now, and a stock like Pan American Silver, 
you should have closed before the trend and not wait before the stock is down at 7 percent edr example i don't think you should wait until the trend because the trend is too it's too far away from your entry points at 433 and so you will close at uh, 370 you will lose approximately 60 cents 15 percent so it was better to close right now or 405 on edr but on WPM, the trend is in there. The points who are not going to lose more than 4% if we wait for the trend. So it was better to wait for the trend. Mining is very weak also. So most of the sector will come back neutral. I have a couple in the upward cycle. But uh, example, uh, stock like industrial will probably, if we make new low, this stock will go in a neutral sector. Uh, discretionary consumption, if we make new low, it will go in the neutral sector. If it's not making new low, we will wait. Uh, financial will pass it just after the show. And k stable consumption is pushing higher. Kushtar and a couple of uh, other stock are rebounding. Uh, in our bearish sector, we have gold, we have material, and healthcare, completely stable. So uh, marijuana stocks rebound, Prometic also strong. Utility, we're not far from going back. In downward sector mining, it's back at the support. So um, this is it. It's uh, it's 1 p.m. So the market right now is making new pressure on the support. But look, every time we touch the support, we rebound. So wait until it's completely breaking down, and I will answer the last question. I'm in and PAC at 73 cent. By packed and gold. Look. Yeah, it's should at at 60 cents, the 57, 60 you will have to close. Uh, and I will probably have closed the stock today at uh, 64, but it's a tough one. But you break the trend, huh? so that was very negative for packed in gold. And RHT at 183, well, I think uh, it's probably right now 173. Uh, I had a question also about a, a client that asked me, and there's two. Uh, there, there are like two options. The first one is you close right now. The second one is you close at 162. So it will all depend on how much money you will you want to lose. Right now, bid and ask is on the upside. So I will sell a new low, close a rebound, wait, and try to close at a better price to lose less. But I think that both of your position, you will probably have to close it today if the market make new low. So this is it. Have a nice uh, day. See you next week, Wednesday.